hello everyone so i hope you are doing good and uh, in my previous video i covered basic things so uh, just overview so i have covered the theoretical things what all are there in the migration and uh, in the next video we deployed an uh, aws stack so we deployed this architecture and uh, we deployed this uh, vpcs uh, uh, sorry on, sort of on premises data center and deployed the application and their database servers and passion host through which we are managing that and also then we uh, using migration hub we are monitoring the migration and ads we deployed the agent collected the data uh, collected the database in aws migration hub and uh, covered a lot of a uh, uh, lot of information in that so in that uh, we explored the environment uh, access the bash host and explore what all is there and tested the access and also in my previous video i uh, covered about application discovery service like installing the agent collecting the data browsing the data viewing network connection then ec2 recommendations so in this video uh, let's talk about athena also uh, where we need where we can analyze the data because when we talk about migration there are a lot number of servers that are there that needs to be migrated for example 100 servers so then there will be a lot of data that will be migrated so using athena we can we can get a lot of uh, information out of it so in this athena we will uh, we will run some queries and uh, watch all this data that that's being uh, uh that's being produced during collection and we can analyze that so in this we can we can run uh, various queries and uh, we can uh, obtain ip addresses and host names for the servers and identify servers with or without agents and analyze system performance uh, with the agents the outbound connections the inbound connections and uh, running software from port number so all those whatever information you want to gather you can you can get that uh, by running the query so let's move forward to the <coughs> console so we are into uh, aws migration hub so from here we can go to data collectors agents and from here we can uh, uh, we can see all that that, that data in the uh, in the athena athena tool so click on servers so if we select our servers so click on actions view in amazon athena so i have selected all those four servers and let's go to athena so here i'm into aws uh, amazon athena so here we can run various queries and uh, you will you will get a lot of uh, information out of it so i have cleared all those previous queries just for understanding so if we go to settings you can uh, specify your location for s3 bucket also where all those outputs of those queries that needs to be stored in this and uh, in that s3 bucket we can see all those details what all all is being uh, stored so if we go to settings uh, sorry editor so here uh, data source is aws catalog and this is the uh, uh discovery service database that is being there so using amazon uh, athena we can uh, analyze all those uh, all those uh, requirements that are there so here uh, uh, for these queries i'll mention these queries in the in the in the help uh, blog also so from there you can copy the uh, queries and run them in case you are good at creating queries you can create your own queries also like what all thing needs to be created and and all that so uh, let's run queries so let me get the queries and then we can start putting that
so obtain ip addresses from the servers we can do that so if we run this query uh, in the editor let's go to the console just put the query and run so i'll put these queries for your testing purpose and uh, <coughs> no results as of now identify servers with or without agents run yeah so all those uh, that i have discovered before also and currently also so this is this is showing all those details so the servers that we identified so uh, it's it's in, installed on that so all that all that database that is collected so on the agent is running or not running so this is showing all those details that, and the agents that are being running so i'll uh, copy this query in the in the helpful uh, help helpful document so from there you can you can uh, get that so i'll create this document and you can just copy paste the uh, copy paste them for for understanding and identify servers with or without agents okay let's run some more few more queries like analyze the system performance uh, for for servers with agents so let me put this in the document let's run the query clear run yeah so from here you can fetch a lot of information is there the operating system name the the version and uh, the free storage used storage ram used ram so uh, all those all that data that's required for for m monitoring the performance of the of the servers so you can do that and all uh, you can download the results also uh, on your local system and also if we go to our uh, bucket s3 demo so let's go to go to the storage s3 bucket so here we are into bucket z my demo bucket so identify with or without agents 2022 so you can browse this folder so all that data is there so whatever queries that we are running today for this date so all that data is there so you can download the data from the s3 bucket also so quite quite uh, helpful and uh, where we can store all this all this data over the over the aws s3 bucket so going back to athena again there are a lot of uh, more information is there so that's how you can run queries i'll uh, i'll mention other queries also uh, other queries to run this uh, other other how we can we can do that so the, uh, basically what i'm trying to show is that you can run your own queries also or you can ask db guys to create your queries to analyze the data so that's how things work in 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 ms aws athena so a basic understanding is how to use this tool and run various queries and uh, and uh, you can save your queries also for for, for future also i have saved these few queries and uh, <clears throat> and uh, you you can uh, you can run that so uh, i'll paste all these queries in the in the uh, helpful helping documents and you can just copy paste and run these so the the basic concept is uh, once you get the data from uh, discovery tool then we uh, uh, 
get that data into the AWS Athena. In Athena, we are analyzing that data from various perspectives, uh, whether utilization or number of agents that are being installed or running on uh, on the servers. So getting a lot of information, uh, it's, it's a just way of uh, analyzing the data that's required and plan our <clears throat> infrastructure over, over AWS and uh, quite helpful to gather all that information and planning our migration smoothly on the AWS. So I hope that was quite helpful. And uh, in this, we, we ran these queries. And also uh, just not to make this video quite lengthy, I'll put all these uh, other queries uh, in the in the in the helpful document. So using those queries, you can uh, you can run these queries. So if I have just for demo purpose, I have ran these queries and to track outbound communication, inbound communication, running identify softwares. I'll mention the queries in that and uh, you can just copy paste and run those queries uh, for, for understanding. So just to avoiding to make lengthy video, I'm just uh, I just ran these three queries and rest of the queries you can run as per your requirement. So I hope it was helpful. And uh, in the next video, so so far we have collected the data, analyzed the data, and now we are going to uh, migrate the server. So in the in the next video, I'll uh, uh, migrate the servers from. Uh, from so this is our our uh, diagram reference diagram so next video i'll cover the migration of the uh, of the workloads so thank you for watching this video and uh, i'll see you in the next video